Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here. Another car video. The topic of this video is long-term relationships can be good. And I know this is a little strange uh, topic because especially in the manosphere, you know, you have a lot of people who bash long-term relationships and feel like it only benefits the woman and, you know, men should never be in a long-term relationships or they should, you know, do it well, 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 um, you know. I don't even know. I don't really hear a lot of guys talking about, you know, men getting in long-term relationships. There's a few. There's a few, but I don't hear a lot of it, you know. A lot of guys shun it and feel like it's only a trap and it only benefits women. And I guess this video here, I am doing it because I want to uh, shed light on the value of long-term relationships and how, more importantly, how to have a successful long-term relationship and how long-term relationships can be good you know so um, that is the most important thing uh, this video is supposed to be uh, shedding light on because we got to understand not all things are good not all things are bad that includes long-term relationships you know so uh, this is this is what or that is what this video is going to be about here so shall we begin <laughs> I guess let us begin <laughs> so first 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 um, and this is obviously the most important thing you have to vet women properly and this goes align with goes in line with the video I did last week about how to check women properly you know so vetting women and checking women are very important because they're pretty much the same thing when you see something that a woman does that you don't like, call that mug out immediately. Let her know you don't like it. You know, that is vetting woman. When you see certain things that she does, that is not cool. That, again, you don't like. Call her out. And you don't have to be rude, disrespectful. Just let her know, hey, I don't like whenever people do that or women i'm dealing with do that or i don't deal with women who do stuff like that let her know that is not acceptable and that's the beauty you have to let her know it's not acceptable so then if she does it you know you can get rid of her and have a free conscience but of course if she doesn't do it do it again then you know she is somebody who respects you and accepts you and is willing to follow your lead and therefore make your life easier and she is a potentially good woman to be in a long-term relationship with you know and of course men have to always lead the relationship men have to always lead the relationship i know with feminism and me too movement a lot of men are giving up that power or giving up the leadership in their relationships to women and that's the reason you see the divorce rate so high. That's the reason you see in so many miserable people in relationships. Because women, a feminine woman doesn't want to be a leader. I don't give a fuck what you see in the media or all this stuff that if a woman can do it or if a man can do it, I could, a woman can do it too. A feminine woman does not want to be a leader. That is the job of a strong, masculine, confident man. You know, so you have those strong, masculine, confident men who sub, who give up that leadership role and they wonder why they're miserable. Happy wife, happy life. But yet the man is miserable. And then the woman is miserable because the man is miserable and they end up getting a divorce or they have miserable sex life and there's no polarity there. You know, and that's the reason a man has to lead the relationship. The only strong men, confident men will lead the relationship, you know. Because that's 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 just your natural role, you know. I mean, of course, there are situations where you have a uh, a very 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 rare few situations where you have a woman who is more in her masculine and a man who is more in his feminine, and sure, that could work, but that's very rare. It doesn't happen very often, you know. What I mean, and sure, they could be happy like that, but that is not my audience here. I don't think, you know. What I mean, so. You know, we, we, we as strong men, we want to be leading and we want to have women who will follow our lead, you know, so that's very important. 
so she also a strong successful long-term relationship will have also have a woman who will support you in your life and what i mean by that is she will um let's say you're a businessman or you're a personal trainer or you're an actor or whatever you're doing she will somehow add value to that and support you with that maybe you're an entrepreneur maybe she'll help you get clients maybe you're a you know, uh, personal trainer should help you get clients. Maybe you, you want to do a video s showing off your personal training, your workouts and, you know, things, your results. Maybe she was your first client. Whatever it is, she will support what you're doing. You know, it's very important that you have a woman or women that support what you're doing for your lifestyle, how you make money. It is very important. You know, and obviously if she's supporting what you're doing, she is adding value to your life and therefore making your relationship better. You know, so that is important and you have to always find a woman or a woman who will do that for you. You know, and uh, the next one here is your goals must be aligned. A very simple thing here. Your goals must be aligned. Meaning, hey, if you're a guy who likes to have sex 10 times a week, <laughs> you must find a woman who either likes to have sex or that much or is willing to have sex that much or more. You know what I mean? Or more. You know? And I, I get it. Some of you guys, oh my gosh, that's a crazy amount of sex. But the bottom line is you have a woman who is willing and open to have sex with you that much. Or if you want to take care of the money, she is open to letting you take care of the money. Or if you are a guy who likes to travel, she is open to traveling with you, you know, around the world. Or do whatever it is that you like to do, she will have her life aligned with you that is crucial her goals must be aligned with yours you know it's kind of what the goes along with the other one support you in your life but her goals must be aligned with yours sure she could have her own stuff but her goals also have to be aligned with yours you know in order to have a successful and happy long-term relationship you know and next obviously this is very important we all know this one there must be great communication when there's an issue, she must be willing to communicate and get past the issue. Obviously, you don't want to have a woman who is standoffish and doesn't want to talk while you are wanting to communicate and get through the issue. And she just wants to just kind of sweep it under the rug. That is not good. That will not lead to a successful relationship at all by any means. So you have to have a woman or women who are willing to communicate the way you like to communicate and get things done effectively. That is crucial. That is crucial. You know, um, and of course, last but not least, you must be in a, um, a phase of your life where you are looking for a long-term relationship you know even if it's you who is still having your fun but then a woman who you enjoy being around and is showing that she is you know quality enough to be in your uh, your life for a long term you know she wants to be in the relationship sure that's good if she wants to be in a relationship with you, but you're still doing your thing, but eventually over time, you're like, okay, I see value in her and I can see a long-term relationship with this woman. Cool. You know, but you have to make sure you get all your player stuff, all your fun, wild, sexual things that you want to do with the woman out of the way, you know, first. So that way, even if you're still in the middle of it, you can still have a clear mind and say, okay, I've already done all this stuff. I see this woman. She's cool. I can appreciate her. I could, you know, be in a long-term relationship with her. But you have to make sure you get all that stuff out of the way first. 
You know what I mean? But of course, I wanted to say, you know, uh, this is also very important. When it comes to vetting a woman, you must realize, depending on how good you are with women, that will determine how long the vetting process will be. If you are, you know, you already get a lot of women, you already understand women, you know, women are no issue. You just doing your thing. You could read women. Sure, it may take you two or three months in order to vet her and to know she's she'll be good long term material. But if you're not exactly that good with women and you're kind of still learning, it may take you, you know, a year or a year and a half or longer to be able to vet her to know if she's really um, a relationship, long term relationship material for you. You know, Corey Wayne says a couple months. Macario says the year, year and a half. You know, but it just depends. It depends on your your quality. How 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 quality are you at uh, at uh, reading women and understanding women? You know, so that is very important uh, to understand, and it's something that you always got to keep in mind. Know who you are, know where you're at, and and know how long it'll take for you to accomplish your goals long term with the woman or women that you want. You know what I mean? So um, that's all I got for y'all. Um, if you like this video, of course, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, you know, and whether you agree or disagree. Uh, of course, uh, hit that notification button. Um, of course, again, let me know what other topics you guys would like me to talk about. You know, I'm open to, to, to anything in terms of the dating relationship, you know, lifestyle, health, fitness, business, all that stuff. Let me know what you, what else you guys would like me to talk about. And last but not least, donate. If you find value in this video, donate. If you join this video, donate. If you feel like this video has um, positively impacted your life, donate. I appreciate it all. You know, what I mean, this is this is what I want to do. My gift for y'all to help y'all with um, not only relationships but to be better in life and um, have a successful life and live in life on your terms. You know, so. I appreciate y'all being with me here this week. And until next week, remember, the strong and confident man is the happiest man. Peace.